Welcome to 235 Middle Neck Road in Sands Point. I'm so excited to share this spectacular home with you. This is truly a slice of the Long Island Gold Coast. Sands Point was East Egg in F. Scott Fitzgerald's Great Gatsby, and it's rumored Fitzgerald spent quite a few nights in this house. You can imagine the parties that went on here. The house features 14 bedrooms, 29 rooms total, eight and a half baths. There's also a guest cottage on the house that has five bedrooms. And there's a motor lodge, which is a fancy name for the garage that has guest quarters above. The house sits on an extraordinary piece of property. It's 5.5 acres total. And one of the best things about it is you have 391 feet of private sandy beach. All of this is on the market for $12.9 million. And I can't wait to share the rest with you. Come with me. So there's no better place for me to start the tour of this house than in the great room. I think whoever coined the phrase great room had this room in mind. This is the heart of this home. This is where they live. This is where they relax, entertain. And I really want to highlight the extraordinary plaster ceiling in this room. It was meticulously restored by these owners. When they bought the house, they inherited years and years and layers and layers of paint, and they hired artisans to reveal this magnificent plaster work. The proportions of this room lend itself to so many different things, but I want to show you how brilliant the interior designer was. You have so much room in here. She was able to put two beautiful facing semicircular sofas, and it's just such a comfortable place to hang out. And personally, I like to curl up on this end of the sofas because I like to gaze out past the veranda to the extraordinary views beyond. So while this house was built in 1926, its current inhabitants obviously have very modern needs. So the kitchen is right beyond this great room. Follow me. When the current homeowners bought the house, this kitchen was a warren of little rooms. They hired an architect and they decided to expand. From the outside, the expansion is actually completely invisible. You'd never know that there was a new part to this house. But what it achieved inside is a beautiful open kitchen and also a back stair for the kids to run down from their bedrooms. The kitchen is a full complement of top of the line appliances, beautiful surfaces, all custom cabinetry, an island on one side with a dual soapstone sink, a second island for eating, and we're just adjacent to a beautiful eat-in breakfast room with an incredible skylight. Who doesn't love a secret entrance? I'm coming right from the kitchen into this beautiful formal dining room. The floors are all herringbone. They were original to the house and were restored. You have windows on three sides looking out to the veranda and again to the gorgeous view and letting in so much natural light. High ceilings in this room, a beautiful marble fireplace that was completely restored, and a chandelier that's from Mrs. Rumsey's vintage. This is an amazing room for a dinner party, for a big holiday celebration. It's managed just to be both grand and comfortable at the same time. This is the home's library. It's definitely one of my favorite rooms in the house. It is so cozy. The millwork and the plaster ceiling are both original to the house, so vintage 1920s. And they just give the home this incredible sense of permanence and warmth that's really irreplaceable. Another one of the key features of this gorgeous room is its fireplace. It just makes it that much extra cozy. The room also looks out on the great lawn and the sound beyond, and the homeowner has adopted this as his quarantine office, and frankly, I can't blame him. I can't imagine a better place to hunker down. I mentioned before that the house actually has 14 bedrooms, but not to be intimidated by that. It's a very adaptable house, and this particular family has used a lot of the bedrooms for other purposes. Previously, you saw the library, which the husband is using as his quarantine office. This is the wife's office, and you have beautiful windows, French doors on three sides, an amazing amount of light, and an ensuite bath. Before we go upstairs, I just wanted to point out something that I think is a really effective design decision that these homeowners made. They painted the wood stairs white, which lightens the whole staircase up and really highlights the gorgeous original moldings. Follow me. I just want to take a second to stop at the upstairs landing because it's particularly stunning. The architectural elements, the ram's head columns, the Greek key moldings are all original to the house and the architects masterfully added a gorgeous skylight just to bring light into the stairwell. So it's a beautiful slice to stop before we walk into the primary suite. The primary suite is really a collection of five different spaces. We're standing in the bedroom, 
Just in front of me is an incredible outdoor balcony that overlooks the sound and also the great lawn. We have a spa bath with a massive vanity, a private water closet, a beautiful tub, and a double shower. Beyond that is a dressing room, but the bedroom is truly something special and maybe one of my favorite spaces in the house. All of the millwork around this room was original from the 1920s and the owners painstakingly restored it. The bed is a king size bed, but it's nestled in its own little niche. You have an antique fireplace and then two entrances to the terrace. So let's go take a look outside. Isn't this balcony magic? What a place to rest. Have your glass of wine at the end of the day, your cup of coffee in the morning. Endless views of the sound in the Great Lawn. It's just so magical. The family has three children and this is one of their bedrooms. Every room respects the original architecture of the house, but brings in a lot of exuberance and character, which make them cheerful and fun and just delightful. When you have a house with 14 bedrooms, you really have the opportunity to be both generous and creative. This bedroom was turned into a wonderful playroom. The fireplace was refitted to be a storage space for Legos. It's just a terrific place to hang out. Kids love it. Who would ever think that I'd be waxing rhapsodic about a laundry room? But this one really does it for me. It has a gorgeous vintage fireplace, beautiful cast iron sinks with a ringer, of course, state-of-the-art washer and dryer, and two exposures, one that actually peeks out at the water. It's a pretty luxurious place to be doing laundry, and it's right on the second floor near the bedrooms. Next, I'm gonna take you down to the beautiful seaside cottage, but before we do, I wanted to make a point to stop on this veranda, which is really extraordinary, with high ceilings, columns with original acanthus leaf capitals, and an outdoor fireplace. This is a cozy place to gather in the evening, play a game of ping pong, have outdoor dinner. It really is such a special feature of this home. So now let's go take a look at the cottage. Now we're in the Seaside Cottage, which is really one of my favorite spaces on the property. It has five bedrooms, a beautiful living room with a fireplace, plenty of room to escape, to host your relatives, to host your friends, to just get away. It's really amazing. Full kitchen, laundry, a beautiful screen porch, and when the doors and the windows are open, you hear the lapping of the waves all day long. It's just so special. Thank you so much for joining me at 235 Middle Neck Road in Sands Point, New York, this iconic Gold Coast mansion built in 1926 by architects McKim, Mead & White. 5.5 acre property with 14 bedrooms, eight and a half baths, 391 feet of beautiful beachfront, a seaside cottage, and the motor lodge. All of this is on the market for $12,900,000. Hope to see you soon.